what is up my fellow hip-hop heads and music lovers in general my name is Givens and welcome back to my channel where every Friday I take a look at some of the new albums being dropped by some of my favorite artists in hopes that you guys will like what I have to say about them and in hopes that I can get some of you into some new kinds of music uh, this is not the fourth and final upload for today so let's get right to it so for the final upload for today I'm gonna be talking about the party pack volume 2 EP or album by the one and only Shoreline Mafia. Uh, for those of you wondering why am I reviewing Volume Two of the Party Pack and not Volume One, well, answer is simple. I didn't know that fucking thing existed. <laughs> I'll be quite honest with you guys. Um, but either way, I don't think it would it would even even matter because the the Party Pack um, Volume One is like like four fucking songs long, so it's, it's like I wouldn't have anything like I wouldn't have that much to say about them anyways. Um, but I decided to do Party Pack Volume 2 because it's a lot more like, um, it's more of a like larger uh, track count than the um, than the other one. So yeah, uh, let's get right to it. I actually don't know if, if Shroll and Mafia are going to like make a whole big thing out of all this. Uh, so let's hope they don't because I don't want to <laughs> review all these like volumes and then only to realize that the full fucking thing is coming now. Like eventually it's like I kind of hate when you know rap artists do that shit but you know it's it's whatever you know I'm not, I'm not gonna tell them what to do with their lives um so yeah about this album or this EP whatever y'all want to call it um okay let me just say that let me just say that I really really like love Shoreline Mafia I, I want to say like I'm, I'm, I'm like really really like big fans about them but um they're they're very different and, and, and it's the reason why I like you know why I still give them a chance you know they're, they're very different you know they're they're like you know they're just a bunch of you know kids just trying to have fun right you know I, I fuck with that you know even even if you know sometimes they're like rapping about the most like obscure and like ridiculous shit it's like you know it's it's, it's pretty catchy at some points uh, you know they, they are sort of like a trap sort of like group um, which as you guys all know that I like personally I'm not that huge of a trap fan and if I do listen to trap then then like it has to be like a specific like certain like artist that can like do it really good for for me for me to like try to get into it you know so um, yeah Charlotte Mafia is definitely one of the one of those like rap, rap groups that I like really like when, when they do their whole like trap vibe at least. Um, I've always said that Shoreline Mafia like kind of reminds me of an underrated version of the ASAP mob just because of like you know just because you know like like w w when you look at every member of, of the shoreline mafia like like they they kind of have like this like asap like sort of like style and it, it, it's, it's pretty fucking cool and also like just the way they rap just the way like you know they make their sounds and whatnot it's like you know it, it kind of like reminds me of an asap mob album so so yeah that's why i personally would say they remind they remind me of an underrated version of asap mob i'm pretty sure other people would say it differently but you know it's okay um, but let me just say this, that, um, I was kind of, I want to say I was kind of bored through this, uh, Party Pack vo Volume 2 album. Um, like, like, like it definitely had like, it's very enjoyable moments. Um, but the thing is, is that, you know, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong because like, because like maybe I didn't like uh, listen to that much of, of Shoreline my shoreline mafia to like know if if you know what i'm gonna say is true but to me i feel like i feel like this is like the same sort of like shoreline like mafia shit that i've been hearing for like the past two years i would say like like like, like ever since shoreline do that shit came out i feel like i've been listening to like the same type of like shit that they've been doing you know like and you know, I kind of it kind of like buzzed me out to say that because after listening to Shoreline do that shit, I was like, I was like, these guys have fucking potential. Like, I'm fucking excited to see what they do. And then you know, and then like I think they had that that like Christmas album that came out last year, and I was like, okay, it's pretty dope, kind of the same shit, but it's it's good. And you know, now I'm I'm listening to this e these to this EP, and I'm like, are they gonna, are they like gonna change their flow up or anything? Because like now I'm starting to wonder if all they're gonna do is like do the same exact sound, um, which is. But which is kind of unfortunate, you know. Like I think they have, like a very, very like um. I, I think I think that they have like the potential to like, be like really great, a really great hip hop group because you know they're because their songs are very catchy. You know they they have a lot of good energy, 
uh, for the most part, like like all the production, all the produ production value that I've been hearing so far in their in their albums or like their projects in general, have been really really fucking good. And so you know, I just I just feel like I just feel like they have potential, but I feel like they also like you know they're also like the type of a rap group to like do the same kind of like style for a long time. It's like is is the reason why I'm like. I'm not that big on Migos because I feel like I feel like you know individually like like, like, like each artist for the most part of, of the Migos like can do like really good like solo shit but when it comes to the, to them being like actually together I feel like we always hear like the same like generic sound from them and it's like and it's like it's it's unfortunate you know because I've heard a lot of good things about Migos and I just like can't really get into them because of that right there and you know like maybe i'm still trying to get used to the whole like shoreline shoreline ma mafia thing and you know maybe if you know i still like give their like future project project a chance then you know they'll eventually start to impress me and i'll start to like you know actually like get more into them but uh, until, until then i just say that this ep was kind of like you know it was it was enjoyable it was definitely like 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 listenable you know like, like i don't like regret uh, listening to it but at the, at the same time i just feel like i wish it, it would have been a lot more different because as far as i know the only like difference that i hear in this whole ep is just that they're a lot more slower and a lot more like calm i guess um so yeah that's pretty much like like what i had to say you know it, it's only a nine tracked ep it's about 26 minutes long um and you know it's sort of like a you know i i, I just feel like you know they make um, they make the type of music that that you would play when, when you're at a big ass house party with the boys, and, and you know, you, you just w w want to put like something like random to like, to like dance to. So yeah, like I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if this comes up sort of sort of a negative because, like I said, I do think these guys are really talented, and and I, I do think like their flow is very 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 like catchy and very like unique from from other like trap artists in the rap game right now, but. At the same time, I just feel like, I just feel like they should change up their flow a little bit because, um, because if they keep like releasing the same kind of like sounding like an album over and over again, then like they're they're unfortunately not gonna do that well. So yeah, I, I really hope they change a bit. But at the end of the day, you know, I think it's a really enjoyable album. And anyone that's a big Shoreline Mafia fan out there, I'm pretty sure y'all will love the fuck out of this album. Um, I think like the one like memorable moment for me in this album uh it's probably my favorite track on the album i forgot what it's called but it, it's the song with currency um i'll be honest i, I looked at the at the track list and, and the moment i saw currency w w was like featured on the album i was like oh shit like how the hell is that gonna sound let me be on let me tell you guys that that fucking track with currency is fucking great like 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 it, it's very fucking cool that's true i might feel like uh to have fucking currency of all people like on a feature level like like like, like, in, like in a kind of like old school rapper like that on, on an album with with Shaw and Mafia, it's like it's like props to you guys, like like, like y'all sounded fucking great together. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna head out of here since everyone in my house is like is insisting on being fucking loud today. Um, so with that being said, hope you guys enjoy my review. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, go ahead and follow me on Instagram down below. As always, thank you for requests. Go ahead and follow Shoreline Mafia on Instagram down below. Uh, their new EP, The Party Pack Volume 2, is out. Goes into it if you haven't already. Uh, you know, like I said, I feel it's the same thing, but I'm sure you guys would disagree. So please go, go listen to it. You know, get your own opinions on it. And um, with that being said, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell down below so you don't miss any notification from me whatsoever. And don't forget to stay happy. I'm in wet, I'm in wet, I'm in clear, I'm in clear, I'm already.